Derek, that's a nice way to celebrate your 100th match as the Kilmarnock manager, getting a place in the quarterfinals of the Scottish Cup. Yeah, I think prior to the game, we'd have took that sort of result. You know, I think you, the, the cup, as you see, um, throughout these type of competitions, you always throw up shocks, and we had to do a lot right in the game to keep um, that from happening. I thought we were good enough in the game to do that. Still like us to move the ball sharper, a wee bit more movement ahead of the ball, and going to get the ball into our strikers quicker as well. I thought we kept going round the houses, kept going round the, the outsides of them, and I thought we played the safe pass rather than the right pass a lot of the time. Um, that said, Cove were set up well. I think they took a lot from the Livy game in terms of their shape. Um, it was a slight adjustment to what their normal shape is. Um, and I thought they were decent in the game, Cove. You know, nobody's going to just come here and roll over. They've got a good level of player, a good level of experience as a staff. So we had to overcome that. And we had a couple of chances first half, and then Kevin hits the bar. But thankfully, we get the goal just before half time when um, it's going off the set play, which was is crucially important for us because. We then go in at half time, still aiming to improve, but um, with the onus on them to try, try and come out of their shape a wee bit to do something different. And I thought from the start of the second half, we were on them more, we were um, never really get lo allowed them up the pitch. Um, and I thought we kind of um, we had, pa had chances, but I thought we had a good element of control. Still looking for better. Listen, I know it wasn't perfect today, but in cup ties, it's all about getting through. Once we get the second goal, everybody take a sigh of relief, and I thought the game kind of opened up a wee bit then. And you know, Vass, I think Vass's goal's in. To be honest, I've not seen it back, but it looked in. I think their keeper said it was in. Um, Fraser Murray should score. We had a couple of wee chances there, but um, you know, teams will, as I say, go out of the cup competition at this stage. Teams who are favourites, and I think the players deserve a lot of credit for being good enough in the game just to get the job done, to be honest. And Marley Watkins, that's his fifth goal in his last nine appearances, fifth in his last eight starts. Yeah, I think he's up to ten maybe now, or nine well, or ten. I think it's about eight. Is it? Yeah. yeah. I, no, I I think it's, nine. it's nine if you include the, the own goal at Albion Rovers, but anyway. All right. <laughs> um, no, it was going on target, I think he got that one. So I think, um, like I say, we all need regular goal scorers. Um, Marley's game is good, uh, generally. Um, we, he was one of the ones that we didn't rest from um, the, the two games we've had. You know, us playing Wednesday night, um, playing a, a league game two or three days before a cup fixture, I, I think it's um, a bit unusual and I don't think it was entirely fair, but we tried to put uh, as much freshness onto the pitch as possible. That, with that, you give freshness, you give opportunity to some, um, but with that, sometimes you don't get quite the same rhythm or fluency, and I think that, that could be a, a case in point in the first half. But, you know, I think a lot of boys done themselves no harm. It was good to get Corey back. It looks as if he needed the game some of the times, but he got stronger as the game went on. Um, we managed to wrestle Liam Donnelly, obviously with his injury issues. We didn't want to uh, play him um, just a couple of days after playing the other night. Um, Rory gets his minutes and does well, good assist for the game. Um, and we get Kevin Van Veen some more minutes as well and get him up to speed. And Fraser Murray's done really well in the last couple of weeks. Sometimes you can't always play your way into the team through your training because maybe the team's doing well or the guy in front of you is doing really well. But, you know, there's sometimes you can play your way out of the team. But certainly Fraser's training performances have been really sharp and really good of late. Um, I thought he was good when he came on the other night against Livy. And uh, he, he deserves his opportunity. So. All in all, good day's work. We're in the draw, which is the most important thing, and we'll look forward to, to that tomorrow. Hopefully we can get another home tie, because I think that um, uh, will be important for us. And good for the fans to see James Balagizi as well. Yeah. Um, I'm a bit gutted. Maybe should have got him on sooner. The game was just starting for him as it was finishing, because I've seen a wee bit longer of him. Um, and that's maybe on me. Um, obviously, when the game's still 1-0 and on the balance, and we've still got a good structure, um, we'd already made a lot of changes, didn't want to be um, taking too many risks, but um, I thought when he came on, lovely mover, as you see, nice touch, moves up and down the pitch really well, he picked, found spaces and really pleased that he's managed to make his debut now in front of the supporters. And the aim for him now is to try and get in the team on a regular basis.